So this is a, an iTouch uh, Generation 3 um, repair, digitizer repair. But I'll tell you, I've done a lot of these little repairs and this has been one of the worst. So be prepared if you're going to try this thing that to, to be struggling for a while. First of all, this is the old cracked digitizer and part of it's missing, the bottom part is missing because when I took it apart, of course, it completely uh, uh, disintegrated. Um, the, uh, these little tools, these little spludgers uh, can get the, uh, you can work these, the digitizer and the um, snap basil out of there, but um, be prepared to realize that once you pull pull it apart, you cannot get the digitizer off without destroying the uh, bezel as well. So that has to come with the unit. Uh, so you can see the old bezel, bezel here, or however you pronounce it, is uh, is uh, pretty shattered up and broken up, and these, this little rubber seal is torn. And um, uh, to get the uh, to get it off of the unit, but it can come off. It just takes a lot of digging and a lot of work, and a lot of worry. So once I got that off, you can see the connector um, right here. This is the old uh, the old uh, one, and the connector flips um, and attaches to the um, to the female to the male here. I'll just show you one of the other little pitfalls that happened to me is when I ordered a, a, a replacement digitizer from uh, eBay. It said it was Generation 3, but when it came to me, it uh, turns out to be Generation 2. You can tell the difference because the uh, uh, cable is out in this direction instead of facing inward in this direction. Uh, so. You have to be careful of that. Before, be sure to dry check all these parts before you start. And uh, so the other thing to uh, realize that is uh, on the uh, snap-in bezel there, on the Generation 3 at least, they have a, a, uh, a mini switch here that uh, is a wrap-around small little mini switch um, uh, circuit uh, board card, you know, flexible card. And uh, I had to remove it from the old um, basil and put it on the new one. And uh, it has uh, some stickum on the back of it that holds it together. Uh, I believe it's uh, conductive stickum, uh, so you need you can't put glue down on it because it'll it'll uh, break the um, uh, the connection, the ground connection. But um, that little switch has to be moved over onto this one. It folds over and uh, put a piece of uh, postal tape to hold it in place because there's the ground connector that connects uh, to the uh, the little connector on the uh, on the main board. So that's a little tricky little deal that you have to do. Uh, the other thing to be aware of is this little button here. Of course, uh, is um, has to be in place before you uh, as, you know, connect the. Uh, the basil to the digitizer. I'm finding it easiest to do is to leave it in this position and make sure that uh, it is uh, lined up exactly per uh, perpendicular because it has to fit into these two little recessed uh, spots right here to function properly. So the um, the basil, uh, after you put the adhesive, adhesive on here, you're going to have to somehow slide it under this, uh, you slide it under the uh, cable connector and get it lined up and then these parts are supposed to snap or slide together. You can see I'm having a little difficulty with this with this button has uh, dropped and is now in the wrong position so somehow you gotta get some tools in here to line that up before you you uh, reseat it with the glue and uh, that of course is not lined up properly you can see that it's on an angle so I've got to redo this
So with this uh, glue here, this uh, piece that this glue that came or stickum that came with the uh, the, um, the the bezel has to be is cut out has little cutouts here for the uh, the switch and so forth. So this needs to be peeled away, and you can see there's everything is uh, cut out. This template should fit right in there and uh, prepare it to stick to the digitizer. So we'll do that next. We'll peel this away. A little tricky. <laughs> tricky and sticky. Ridiculously sticky. Yeah. Somehow I got to figure out how to transfer this down onto that. <laughs> okay. All right. So if I just peel off this piece here and leave the stickum on there. Then, oh, wait a minute, I want to get this little piece away. This little piece, too. Tricky. So this is going to lay down here like that, so i got to peel this off here. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sure. This is easy. Okay. Sanchi, huh? All right. That good? Hard to tell. Don't want to press it down very hard until I'm sure of the alignment here. All right.